Hello again. So we're going to do another intro video here. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump on the code. Why not? So with this code, um, I'm just doing a set title match mode like I always do. Just to be more user friendly, I guess. So the first one, I see this a lot. People asking, you know, how can I somehow make a script that does a Google search for me? So I got my hotkey, F1. I'm going to clear out the clipboard just because. And then um, send control, and that should actually just be in control C. And that's going to copy whatever text I have highlighted. Um, if I accidentally push F1 and I don't have anything to highlight it, it's just going to stop. That way we don't just accidentally have it you know, searching for stuff I don't really mean it for. Uh, then, very simple, we're just going to do a run, comma, and you want to use this um, URL, google.com slash search, blah, 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 and here's where we're going to have our variable, which, oh, went ahead and did it anyway. So as you saw there, it went ahead and uh, searched for me. And then a return. Next thing, um, a lot of people won't, uh, so in all my videos I do like a hotkey where it's just like F1, F2, but sometimes people want two uh, keys to press in order to perform the action. So all you got to do is put the uh, and symbol. So 9 and 0. Let's go ahead and show that. Don't think I have it running. So if I push 9, which I'm doing now, does nothing. 0, nothing. But if I push 9 and 0 together, there we go. You press 9 and 0. So that can be useful um, for a lot of stuff, you know, if you want to continue like typing and whatnot, which is what this next part is. So putting this here, this little, um, I think it's called the tilde key, in front of a hotkey means that when you type, you know, L here, it's going to go ahead, send L like it normally would, but then also perform the action. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open Notepad. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and push L. And as you see, I, I got that message box. I typed L and triggered a hotkey, but it also sent L like it normally would. This is really good if you're playing around in like a video game where you want a hotkey, but when you exit out of the video game and you kind of want to continue typing like you normally would, you can do that. You know, definitely add some like if, when, active, that kind of stuff. Cover that in some other videos. And now we got... <clears throat> Open more tabs based on what you currently have opened. So I did a video about this where um, you can open, you know, websites in Chrome if you want to. Uh, this one's a little more targeted in seeing what you're doing. So the first one here, when I push F2, is send uh, Control L. All that's going to do is target the um, URL part here, the bar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, Control L. Oops. If I push the right thing, Control L, and it highlights it. The next thing it's going to do is copy that URL, and then it's just going to do an if command. If clipboard contains Google, then go ahead and also open this. This is useful if um, you know, you're on a website, and it's like, okay, I'm on this website. That means I also want all these other websites open you can do that. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to have it open my YouTube page. So I'm already on Google. I'm going to push F2. And there we go. It just opened my uh, page for you. So this is a very intro kind of thing. Um, pretty much I'm at the point now where I think I've gone over most stuff that's very basic. Um, coming up in the next few weeks, I'm definitely going to be advancing into way more complex stuff. 
uh, medium level, let's call it that. And uh, we'll go from there, eventually getting to way more advanced stuff. So please definitely subscribe, like, all that shebang. It definitely helps me out. And see you guys next time.